All right. Let's close them. Close them up. Let's go. The boys are in the room here. Uh, we got Keith Yandel. Miami, son. Yeah, boy. Former teammate. Yep. He used to always yell that on the ice. It was hilarious. What was we were the... in Florida. Anytime oh. they make a good play, go, Miami, son. Yeah, big win. Go to Miami. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> hey, so, hey, thanks for stopping by. Uh, we'll get right to it. You're in the house because you're jumping across the hall here, and you've got a big Canadian broadcast tonight for Amazon. Yep. Um, do you know what you're doing yet or no? You know what? I'm just, just like my life. I live by uh, hey, yeah. fly by the seat of your pants, man. Seat of the pants. So yeah, no, excited to do it. Uh, just at our production meeting, uh, they seem to know what they're doing, which is good. Uh, and I'll just roll with the punches. Obviously, get a couple of uh, good hosts with me, so it'll be a lot of fun. Who's on with you? Got Hicks, so oh, that'll yeah. be fun. Yeah, he, he's the man. Yeah, he's, yeah. you know, it's a good steady stay-at-home D-man. He is. Play with me. Let me do some offense, and then, uh, yeah, and then Andy, Andy uh, controlling the bus. Yeah. Andy Petrillo. How, how have you enjoyed kind of, because you've, you've been doing more and more chiclets, bar stool stuff, uh, now this coast to coast Amazon Prime. Like, have you enjoyed kind of getting into the mix and you kind of waded in slowly. Now you get more comfortable. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, I am. You know what? It's, it's, it's a lot more work than you, you, you realize when you're playing. You think, you know, guys like Rupper just show up and, you know, talk some hockey. But uh, yeah, yeah, it, that's yeah. basically what that is. You just got to pretend like you know what you're saying. Exactly. It's yeah. half the battle. Yeah, no, I'm not good at pronouncing names, so that's uh, I stay away from that. So I, I know my game just kind of like I did when I was playing. And, you know, if the last two minutes were up, I'm not getting out there and, and just kind of <laughs> hang out. We, we did a tape room, and I was trying to do, uh, I was trying to do Lindgren. And I was doing like a little grin, and it was like three times. And he literally, at one point, he's like, It's Lindgren, Jay. <laughs> I was like, Sorry, sorry. So I'm with you. I butcher it all the time. Sorry. That's all good, man. But uh, yeah, no, I mean, um, it's fun seeing you out there. It's, it, how did you decide to get in the media? Like, what was your, when you stopped playing, what was your transition? Did you just automatically be like, I'd be good at this. This is something I'm going to do. I mean, we all probably felt like you too, though, yeah. when you played. Like, I, that was, I always There's heard that. Schneid's is going to be yeah. automatic in this. You were always one that was so good with that. Did you think you're going to do it? Not really. It was kind of one of those things, and you know, I, I think since retiring too, is trying to find yourself, try to see what you're, you know, good at or trying to get good at, and getting out of your comfort zone. So I think for me, it's just kind of trying to test myself, trying to see what I can do. Uh, I'm not very comfortable speaking in front of people, so it's just kind of, you know, learning to get better at it and, and having fun, and you know, just being a part of the game. Obviously, it's uh, given me everything in my life, and. Uh, so appreciative of the NHL and everything it's done for me. So I just want to do anything to give back. Well, you've been giving back. Uh, I think it's your second year you've done uh, the hockey camp you're doing in Nantucket. So talk a little bit about that. Yeah, we got our uh, our annual hockey camp. It's a it's a good excuse for my brother to come over and stay at my house for the week and and teach some hockey and uh, Y three K uh, hockey camp. It's called and uh, yeah, it, it's a great great turnout. We have uh, a lot of great little kids from all over. We have kids in in the U S. Kids kids from Canada, kids from down south, and every year we've had a couple NHL guys come out and. and um, you know, come out on the ice with the kids and, and show them what it's like to be an NHL player. So maybe one day you can come out and show them how to uh, backhand toe drag. Ooh, I, oh. I don't think I can show, nice gla I can show them glass and out. Yeah, no, I can show we, don't glass. we don't teach that there. <laughs> yeah, I can show them glass and out. So Yans, I, Yans and I both grew up around Boston. We were the same birth year, so we kind of ran in the same circles playing USA Hockey Team, Massachusetts, all that good stuff. So there's one thing I've always wanted to ask you, though, is we played prep school against each other. Cushing Academy alum, go Penguins. Yep. Phillips Academy go alum. Pens. Go Big Quack, Blue. quack. Big Not blue? nearly as good or as Big cool. Blue, what was the mascot? Yeah. It, was a, it was a gorilla. It's a, it's a long story. Big Blue Gorilla? Uh, we didn't uh, have it, yeah. It was, hey, go ahead. <laughs> anyway, irregardless, as we say back home. Um, so I want to know, though, you know, we, we were both prep school. I went to Boston College. Don't know if you applied there or not. Um, you went to the Quebec League right away out of high school. Yep. And you were fourth round pick, I believe. Tore up the queue, and then the next year you were in Phoenix, pretty much, correct? Yeah. What was uh, that jump like? Because we were all saying, wow, like yeah. you were a good player in high school, and then you were in the NHL like a year and a half later. We were all like, whoa, hey, how did that happen? You got me traded out of Moncton. Yeah. Oh. I played with him in Moncton. That's right. You were in Moncton too? <laughs> For like two When months. he got there, not long. <laughs> he became <laughs> expendable. <laughs> yeah. like, what was that like? That must have been a jump. Yeah. Yeah, it, it definitely was. And uh, the good thing about it, I wasn't really one of those hockey kids that knew everything. It was just kind of like, my grades weren't good enough to get into college at the time. I wanted to go play a year with my brother at UNH and had to do a couple summer classes. And I remember calling my mom on the payphone and saying, come and get me. The school stuff isn't for me. And she was like, what are you going to do? 
So figured it out, went out to the Quebec League in Moncton. Uh, had great owners there with uh, Robert Irving, great coach with Teddy Nolan. So it's kind of best case scenario for me, just getting up there. And, you know, when it comes down to I was kind of just one of those kids that loved to play hockey. And, um, you know, especially in the Quebec League, you're playing a lot of games. You're not practicing a ton. There's not a huge focus on going to school. Um, so it, it was perfect for me. And then, yeah, next year I was able to, you know, play some NHL games and, and get the career started. That's a serious jump, though. That's right. Yeah, you're that's... talking like that's not far from, you know, a year and a half. Is that what you said it was? Year Pretty and much. A half? Yeah, it was wow. quick. Uh, we always, Schneider's used to this. Uh, whenever we have a guy come in, we, I'm going to show. Do you, first off, do you know if you have ever scored on him? Actually, I think I did one time because I remember you. I know I scored a couple on him in high school. I hope the you guys have those definitely. clips. But, <laughs> those ones uh, might not have been. They're on a camp. Yeah, yeah my uh, <laughs> yeah. dad has it. Uh, here we got some numbers. <clears throat> Team record. Yeah. Pretty good record there. Oh, absolutely. What is that against them? But Eight I, points. I think I do remember the goal. It was in New York because I remember you chirping me after. It was like a, a, a wrister from the blue line, and you were like. You're welcome for that one. So I think I got yanked right after this. That's why I remember it. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a fake pass. Got him to bite. See, so see, Schneid kicks over or pushes over to the uh, right side there. Fake pass to my uh, D partner right here. Boom. You're always the best. Oh, get oh, oh, nice. yeah, yeah, you don't do that thing. anymore. Fading back. Yeah. Drop the shoulder. I think yeah. I tripped you too after that. I had you clocked at 68 miles an hour <laughs> on that thing. If I was lucky. Yeah. Good, good screen by JT Miller. Still uh, ripping up the league now. So it was. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There's not not too many. Uh, too many goal highlights for me there, so glad I got at least one on I, I know I had a few on him in high school, too. How about this oh, yeah, guy, though? For sure. You, you guys played together. Uh, well, I didn't know that you guys played together in Moncton, shortly yeah, in, in Moncton in but junior, a couple yeah. different times here. Was he, uh, like, we see him here, and I love you to death. Mouthy, son oh, of yeah. this guy, right? Uh, I mean, look at who I I mean, right? So with, the, he definitely played with you. You've, yeah. you've always talking a lot, too, out there. What was it yeah. like playing with J.D.? So my, my biggest memory, and it's it's not, a, obviously I love playing when he was a great guy in the locker room, but uh, one bad one was, uh, it, it was Thanksgiving, which anyone who knows me, it's my, it's my favorite <laughs> holiday, too. my favorite holiday uh, in the world. My favorite thing to eat on Thanksgiving is mashed potatoes. So, oh God. you know, it's kind of one of those things we're hosting at my house, everyone's gonna bring something. JD's like, listen, I got the potatoes. My dad taught me this trick, how to make potatoes. I'm like, all right, dude, but, Make sure True. they're good. Make sure they're good because this is, <laughs> this is what, what I'm, I'm looking for. for. He shows up the day of with a couple bottles of champagne. No mashed potatoes. <laughs> I, look at, I look at him. I'm Were like, the bottles? Bro, what are we doing here? Did yeah. you up the champagne game because you knew you had to? No, so I moved into a place in Fort Lauderdale and this oven, the stove was electric. Blew one of the power lines on. I don't know what happened. The electricity went out. I couldn't, I was trying to heat up the mashed potatoes. And at this point, when I started heating up the mashed potatoes, which I started late, all the stores are closed. So I'm sitting there like, oh my God, what do I do? I could have easily just called somebody and said, hey, help me. But the pride in me was like, listen, I got to get these done. I got to get these done. So I'm trying to do them in the oven. And my wife now, at the time, she's sitting in the living room, like, watching me. And I'm trying to mash these things. And I'm, like, punching, like, almost crying. Like, I got to get the potatoes. I'm, like, two hours late. He, I, I'm getting a text of him going, like, Where's the potatoes, dog? I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to kill it all. So I'm just like, grab the champagne. My wife's like, it'll be fine. I'm like, it's not going to be fine. <laughs> Only like, $5 million dollar house that the stove doesn't work. <laughs> I, I think he went out the night before and, and then slept in and didn't buy the potatoes and was trying well, to buy did you them. Bring it, did you bring the potatoes at all? Or just, no, just nothing, champagne. Nothing. So we had Thanksgiving. So no, Thanksgiving. Get Thanksgiving. Anybody no, else brought no. any potatoes? Thank God my wife made some sweet potatoes. Oh. But at least bring them early and do them at his house or something. You know? <laughs> That's like, what I'm saying. He did no, There was no potatoes. I own my mistake. Writing yeah. checks with their mouthy body. I love cash. that. I know. <laughs> I love and that next one. year I made mashed potatoes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> on a different team. Yeah, I did. I was traded. He got me traded after that. <laughs> I, was gone. I went right yeah, on you the were right to do that. I said, see. Yeah, I was. Hi, listen. That's... I own that trade. Yeah. <laughs> what about, uh, I want to ask you guys both uh, any Yogg stories? You guys both play with them. I you loved Yogg. So I used to, and I'm sure you were part of these, I, I, anytime you'd get him to go, he didn't go, like to go out to dinner a lot because he'd get harassed, but you know, I got him to go out a few times and anytime we'd go out, I'd tell them that it was his birthday. So any restaurant we went to and then, you know, the whole eyes were on him. I did it to him in Pittsburgh one day and the guy was like, I don't think it's his birthday. So in my phone, in my reel, I got about 20 pictures of him where it says happy birthday, 68. And I don't even know when his birthday is. Yeah, I mean, does he have a birthday? I don't think he does. He just no. doesn't. He's just suspended it. 
35 years old yeah. for the rest of so his I, life. So I had Yogg's in Jersey for a little bit. And oh, I forgot you were with him, too. Well, yeah, just to your point, Thanks he didn't go out and stay. Yeah, don't home. worry about it. Um, but he had the stall next to me in the change room, like where you get out of your suit and get your laundry on. And he would always have one foot up in that stall, like on his cell phone. And he had the biggest, like, oh. lower half and ass in the world, sorry. And he would oh, just sit there and just, gosh. like, stick it out there. And I'd kind of come in and try to get to my stall. And it's like... <laughs> It's Yarmir Yager, so I'm like, oh wait, <laughs> Mr. Yager. Like I call him like Mr. Yager. Mr. Like, Yager. Say, Yar hey Yaro, get out of the way. I'm like, hey, Mr. Yager. And he sort of look at his phone and sort of glance over at me and shift like an inch and a half. And I'd be like, <laughs> perfect, thanks, man. Let me grab my like, hey, you know, it's like I was just like, oh, you, all right, you got it, man. I'll be back later. In Florida, he had like two stalls, and <laughs> yeah. then he had all of his gear, and he would sit in between periods, what, reading the Russian Bible on two heat packs yeah. with ice in his toque, and you're just. like, <laughs> Potato skins and his knee pads. He did, he did it all. Oh, he was he crazy. Did, that year with us, I was told, I was telling people, he remember he came to camp with like two pound weights on his yeah. skates. Yeah. And then got so used to it, started the season with like four oh, pounds extra on his body. I, it's good it's on the skate. I played with Dana Zubris, and he wore a weight belt oh. around his, his, you know, his waist, and he would do it for training purposes like that, right? Oh, then I take it off. I feel great. I feel light. But then in practice, you go bump up against them, and that weight <laughs> belt hitting your wrist, and I'm yeah. like, I'm like, dude, you can't wear a weight. I can't have you being 250 JD, pounds, dude. JD used to wear them in the game. He did. <laughs> I did. Like it. Yeah. Hey, but a little you got, corner weight. I was a little slow. You know, corner weight. You guys no, he did. He wore that in a game. Like he was wearing weights in a He's game. He's nuts. That's crazy. Tapes That's on crazy skates. Stuff. You guys did hook each other up with a couple assists, though. We got those. Which one sure, did we start I, with? All I did was slide it over to him. <laughs> oh, we got, we, I think we got one there. goal from each of you, assisted by the other. <laughs> oh, nice. What do we got? Oh, and Yogs too. Oh, yeah. Oh, right there. Oh, that's my pad. Oh, look at the pump fake bank it. That's my pad. Yeah, I call it bank. POP. <laughs> bank it. Hey, this perfect. Yogg's yeah, head up by JD. Floated uh, look at, to the net. Looking like Seamus Casey out there. Schneids was in. That would have went in. Would have went in for sure. <laughs> I will say you're one of the best pump fakers I've ever played against. I think oh. your pump fake in your luck off game was elite. Yeah. Never knew where you were looking. There. Oh, oh Detroit. Is that all is good? That was off a pad. That was off a shin pad, though. Don't Did get that twisted. Straight in? I'll be honest, JD. Oh. Since, we've, since we've done this show together, we've watched a few of your goals, and a lot of these are DD, and you're stepping, you're coming down the pipe. Yeah. yeah. You, you have a pretty good shot, man. I nose for the, I see? Nose for the net. In the locker, shoot the score. That's it. Yeah, that's yeah. That was, exactly yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, JD, especially getting it by that first guy, you were really good at that. As a D, you know, you taught just get it by the first guy. And JD they always did a really good job of just getting it by the first guy. It doesn't have to be hard. Just get it by them and let the forwards do their job. Yeah, on the odd occasion, I'd shoot. Other than that, you'd just be like, slide it over. <laughs> We'd go D to D back to D, yeah. D to D back to D, and Yogs would be on the ice. D to D to the playoffs.